Hi guys, welcome to a brand new series on SharePoint where we will cover some of the new features that have been introduced in 2020. Also, we will look into some of the basics of SharePoint and I would like to share my understanding of SharePoint. As you would know, there are heaps of videos and content out there on SharePoint and it features few of them are very quite overwhelming. But what my intention is to break down the complexity and share my personal perspective and take on the SharePoint. I would try to keep it as simple as I can and then we can slowly build from there and learn more advanced features like data security, information protection, automation workflows and many more. So thanks for joining me on this journey. Stay tuned and let's start with what SharePoint is. So you all might find a lot of content online on SharePoint and the one line which is very common in all of them is SharePoint is not an app, it's a platform. Now what that means is SharePoint gives you a stage where you can run your own show. If you allow me to take the analogy of rock concert, then SharePoint is like a stage where the audience is the user and artist would be like an app who would come onto the stage and perform the song and song being the data in this case. So what I'm trying to say here is that once you have data, you are the in charge of how you want to display that to your audience. SharePoint works in conjunction with various applications like Word, Excel, OneDrive, etc. It also gives you the power of creating a meaningful website, web pages, where you are in complete control of what you want your users to see and how they can interact with that data. So now everybody can have their own different interpretation of SharePoint. The way I like to understand SharePoint is, it's a data management system which not only manages your data, but it also manages the metadata around it. Now I wouldn't go too much deep into the metadata right now, which will be covered in the further future videos. Coming back to the point, so once the information about your data is stored in the SharePoint, it allows you to collaborate with your team and represent that data in various different ways. So consider SharePoint as a box where you can basically throw in your Word, Excel files, PowerPoint, images, videos, um, all sort of data that you deal on the day-to-day -day basis. Now that being said, you must be wondering, so what it can store the data, how come it's different than any of the file servers that I've been using? So we would definitely go into the, all the features and the capabilities of SharePoint, which makes it different than the file servers. But for now, let's understand it from the data management or admin side of things. So once you've got your data inside the SharePoint, it will basically do four different operations. It will store the data how you have decided whether it has to be in the library forms or in the list forms or many other web part or app parts. It will manage your data. It will basically, if you have chosen to put some tags around it, labels around it, it will maintain it so that you have a high availability 24 seven. And when it comes to the security, I can say that it does a really great job for that. However, security is always a hot topic and uh, we will go through all the security features and what you can do with your data inside the SharePoint in the future videos. So from the user's perspective, SharePoint can interpret your data. So once you put your data inside SharePoint, it can easily understand what type of data it is. For example, if it is a Word file, Excel file, and it can put all those metadata around it. Once you've got the data inside SharePoint, you can also represent that data in various form to other users. For example, you can create a website, a chart, a graph or many other views. SharePoint can also analyze your data for you, which you can use to generate alerts for you and a lot of automations and workflows. SharePoint will also give you certain reports, which are by default, but you can of course customize a lot of reports if you want to take a deep dive into the management side of the data. Okay, so now that being said, let's look closer onto a few of the features of SharePoint, like for example, file storage. Yes, you can use the SharePoint as a secure file storage, but I would recommend do not make it your dumping ground for the files or don't try to replicate the file server that you have onto the SharePoint because SharePoint is not a file server. It's way more than that. Do not just create folders and folders of hierarchy inside the folders and just dump your data inside there. You need to carefully organize your data when you put into the SharePoint. That's the only way where you can take the advantage of all the features and metadata and the security features of SharePoint. So 
do not use it as a file server yes it can store files but you have to be a little bit smart about that so the another feature of SharePoint is that it allows you to securely share your files and content with people inside and outside of your organization. You can take advantage of further features like you can set an expiration date, you can also set a password, you can even block the users to download the data. Not only you will be sharing a link of the data, but you can also control when and how the users can access that data. So the content management is also one of the biggest feature of SharePoint. It allows you to manage your content inside libraries and lists along with the metadata. And it also allows you to apply some sort of retention policies around that. For example, if you've got a data with labeling, let's say sensitivity or highly confidential data, you can allow a retention policy so that you can prevent the accidental deletion of the data as well. So SharePoint by default allows you to create two different types of sites. One is team sites, another one is communication sites. A team site provides a place for your team to organize and collaborate on content, data and news to stay on the same page. Whereas the communication site will share and communicate your group's messages across the organization with beautiful dynamic communication site. So you can choose either one of them depending on your need of the organization and how you want to share and represent your data across the team. With SharePoint, you can also create various intranets to inform and engage your organization with sites to tell your stories, announce your news, share resources, streamline process and engage people. And to access these intranets, team sites and contents with the SharePoint, there are SharePoint mobile applications for Android, iOS, Windows and there are OneDrive mobile applications for Android, iOS and Windows. So you can take advantage of any of those apps to access your data. There are a lot of workflows in the SharePoint which you can use to automate your work. You can automate your business process with alerts and a lot of different workflows. SharePoint also allows you to discover the relevant people and the content as well whenever you need it the most. And you can also customize your enterprise search and results with enhanced feature to surface resources across the entire Office 365. You can put various filters as I explained earlier and you can also create various different views for you to access those data. Within SharePoint, you can find the content in electronic format for litigation or audit scenarios. You can use advanced data loss prevention capabilities to identify, monitor and protect your sensitive information. You can also take advantage of features like in place hold to programmatically prevent your content deletion or editing. That being said, there are a lot of other features that are inside the compliance and the security centers which can be used in conjunction with the data loss prevention capabilities. Look, I do know these all features could be quite intimidating for you. And if you would like to know more about these features and how you can take advantage in your organization environment, please check the link in the description and you can get in contact with either me or one of our consultants. And thanks a lot for watching this video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon because more awesome content on SharePoint will be coming soon.